If you had an information product that you wanted to sell online, how would you do that? To sell anything online, you need a sales page, clear and compelling copy, and some striking images. But is that enough? I think in today's world, you also need a sales video. In this episode of how to make money from your content, I'll share my process for creating my sales video for my book wrapper book summaries. And I'll share the two essentials you need to create the ultimate product sales video. Best of all, it's a sales template that you can use to sell anything online or offline. Being able to sell your products and services is crucial. If you can't sell your products and services, then creating your content is going to be a huge waste of time, effort and energy. Even worse, if you can't earn money from your content, then at some point you're going to have to quit making your content and go over there and earn a job and do something else. And that's a huge loss of your creative control, your self-expression and your content creation identity. Previously, I compared Patreon with Kofi, and I decided that the best way for me to make money for my content right now was to build a sales page on Kofi. The good news is that it only took five to 10 minutes to create a basic sales page. But am I going to sell anything without a sales video? Cisco estimated that 82% of all internet traffic in 2022 was going to be video. And the most popular types of video were product videos. In fact, 96% of people said they relied on video to learn more about a product or service. Video marketing works. But how do you create a sales video for your products? But most importantly, how do you create a sales video that stands out and makes sales happen? There are two essential things you need to make sales happen. The first thing you need to do is get your head around the idea of selling. As Dan Pink so beautifully said in the title of his book, to sell is human. It's something you do every day, regardless of whether you're in business or not. To sell is to help another human being to go from where they are to where they want to be. Your product is the thing that helps them make this shift. This is the first thing you must highlight to your potential buyers and clients. You must understand where they are right now and where they would like to be. When you state this clearly, you create the gap. Whenever I think of the gap, I always think of my time in London riding the tube. Mind the gap. You want to mind the gap. This is the key to your buyer's motivation. Unless your buyer is motivated by going from A to B, they won't be buying anything from you. This is your first step, to find the gap. For Book Wrapper, it's going from being uninformed and potentially making bad business or career decisions to being informed and making smart decisions. I talked more about this in the video on context shifting. It's the key for thought leaders to sell their ideas and for you to sell your products. The sales process then presents three ways that a client can respond to the gap. The first way to respond happens when your buyer's motivation is low. They do nothing. This means their current situation continues or it gets worse. This means they fall even further behind and they make even worse decisions. I think we should replace our fleet of cars with horses. We'll instantly cut our fuel bill to zero. The second scenario shows options that are like yours. For instance, instead of buying the book wrapper summaries, you could go out there and buy all the individual books. But this would cost you almost 10 times more to buy the books 
Plus, it would take you six to eight hours longer to read each one of them. Plus, you have the problem of finding the right books to read. And the third option shows your offer in all of its glory. You want to show why it's the best option in the world and they'd be silly not to take it up. The big challenge you need to overcome when creating your sales video is the curse of knowledge. Isn't that the title of the latest J.K. Rowling book? Harry Potter and the Curse of Knowledge. The curse of knowledge is when you assume what you know that other people will also know and understand. For me, I naturally know you need Book Wrapper to defeat Voldemort and save the wizard world. But for you, that might not be true. I see books as a source of knowledge and expertise. It's an easy way to tap into the best business brains on the planet. But for you, it might remind you of school. And the last thing you want right now is to be reminded of school and have more things to read. Therefore, the first step in your sales process has to be to understand where your potential buyers are at right now. What's their current situation? What are their current challenges? And what do they want instead? Highlighting this gap is the key to having potential buyers motivated to buy your product. And to highlight the gap, you need to talk about it at three levels. Three levels. <laughs> the first and obvious level, the one that most people focus on, is the functional level. With Book Wrapper, the functional level is to know more about what's happening in the world. That's nice, but not very specific. N instead, in your next marketing material, you could propose crowdsourcing as the way of the future and know what you're talking about. That's a practical and functional result. But there is a deeper level. How is this going to make you feel? During the pandemic, a lot of people became anxious, stressed and agitated because they lost their sense of control and choice about their lives. This is a loss of agency. Book Wrapper is all about boosting your agency, your feeling of being in control and having choice. It gives you choices because you have a better understanding of what's going on around you. The third level at which people buy is their social standing. You don't want to be the only person in the marketing meeting who doesn't know what crowdsourcing is. That would make you feel like an idiot. But worse, you'd look like an idiot in front of all your peers. In this case, Book Wrapper could be the difference between being seen as a leader or a loser. In some cases, it might be enough to simply talk about the functional benefits to your customer. But generally speaking, you'll get better results if you can combine all three elements, the functional, the emotional, and the social into one powerful, compelling sales video. Now we have our basic content mapped out, we need a structure or a map to organize them all. We'll talk about this in our next video. For now, you need to define the gap. Where are your clients at and where would they rather be? And make sure you do this at the three levels at which they buy, the functional, the emotional, and the social. Once you've written this down, head over to our next video on the sales video structure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.